All right, everybody, I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be reviewing... Whoa! I'm going to be reviewing Skinwalkers by Tony Hillerman. I swear there was a cat back there earlier. Where did it go? Wait, we're going to be talking about cats in the video a little bit more. Skinwalkers, Tony Hillerman. This is book number seven in his Lephorn and is Lieutenant Lephorn and Sergeant Chi Navajo Tribal Police Mysteries. This came out in 1986. This was the breakout hit. He'd written six books in the series previous to that. This was the breakout hit that really launched this series into the stratosphere, partly because of the cover. Now, we always review the covers because I love cover illustration and graphic design. This cover, and subsequently every other cover of the Tully, Tony Hillerman mystery series, was done by a artist by the name of, let's see, Peter Thorpe. He was a part Cherokee Indian, and he did these wonderful... So if you get any of these books, and they've all been reprinted with his covers on them, these great, but in 1986 he did this cover, which for some reason captured the attention of the book-buying public, and they just, they just shot this book into the stratosphere. <clears throat> and made Tony Hillerman like almost a, a household name in the mystery novel writing community. There's a little history about that. Also, there's been a mini-series. Back in the day, back in the early 90s or maybe early 2000s, they did a, a mini-series. BBC did a... Well, yeah, it says right there. PBS Mystery. Um, they did a mystery series on this Skinwalkers book starring um, Wes Studi, who you might know was in Dances with Wolves and... Uh, Last of the Mohicans, and then also Adam Beach, who was also a Native American actor back in the day. I think he starred in, uh, I can't remember what he starred in, a movie, a World War II movie about the Navajo Code Talkers. Anyway, um, then they did uh, three episodes of that, and then they did, uh, now they're going to do another one. They're actually doing another one. I think it's Netflix, and it's going to be starring... Um, uh, I think his name is uh, McLaren, Zan McLaren. He's from uh, Longmire. He played the Navajo sheriff in Longmire. And then um, also Rain Wilson from uh, The Office is in it. Um, and uh, a, a newcomer, a new actor named Kiowa Gordon, who's going to be playing Lieutenant Jim Chi. Uh, you know, and then also Lou Diamond Phillips was in, uh, I think might be in both or either. Anyway. Enough of that. Let's talk about the book. Why I wanted to read you the author's note, because this is great. This is some great stuff here. This is the author's note from the beginning of the book. Um, so anyway, he says, traditional shamans would disapprove of the way both Sergeant, the way that Jim Chi was invited to do the Blessing Way mentioned in this book. So the Blessing Way is sort of a Indian rite of passage. Such arrangements would be made face-to-face uh, -face and not by letters. And if she's practicing a sand painting on the ground under the sky, such sacred and powerful rituals should only be done in a hogan. Um, the reason I ring that up is because um, this book is about the supernatural. Um, it's about Navajo ritual, Navajo shamans, Navajo medicine men, um, and skinwalkers. Now, skinwalkers are believed to be evil Navajos or Indians that can change shape into an animal. Usually it's a coyote or a wolf or something mean that can attack and kill. And so they're skinwalkers, and they really, really believe that these things are real and that uh, you need to stay away from them. And, and you never know who amongst you might be a skinwalker. They might look like a normal, your normal friend today, but they can change shape into an evil animal and kill you later that night. They're skinwalkers. That's what we're talking about here. This book starts out with um, a lot of 
Jim Chi doing things kind of a little unorthodox, and even Lieutenant Lephorn just doesn't trust the guy. And uh, it starts out with a delightful, a delightful first four pages of just this delightful scene of Lieutenant Chi and a, and a feral cat that he's trying to make friends with. Out in the desert, he's got a little trailer, a single wide trailer set way out in the desert, Sagebrush. And there's a feral cat out there that he's sort of trying to befriend. And it's just such a delightful opening to this book. And you don't need to know the backstory. You don't need to have read the first six books in this series to enjoy everything that happens in this book. Because this book is the starting point. I would say if you want to read the Lephorn and Chi novels, yeah, it would be great if you read the first six, but you can jump into this series at its blockbuster beginnings, which is really with this book, and you will, it, it, just, it just sets a tone so great with that scene between the sergeant and the cat, and it's a delightful four pages of, of, the, mystery, of the book. I mean, it opens the book up just great. And then things go to shit because someone starts shooting shotgun blasts at Jim Chi's trailer, and now him and the cat are in the trailer just freaked out. And that's how things start. <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Anyway, but as soon as we start into the mystery and we start getting into Lieutenant Lephorn's part of the mystery and we start meeting a lot of the characters and the players and all of the familiar Navajo names that, you know, I grew up in Sevier County, Utah, which is down there amongst the Navajo Reservation area. And all of the names of the towns and the places and the last names of the Navajo, they're all familiar to me. So I really feel like I'm entering familiar, ter familiar territory. I really feel like I'm coming home when I read these. And I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Because I grew up in this environment, in the desert southwest, amongst a lot of Native American people with their Native American cultures. I mean, South Sevier High, a third of the students were, uh, were Navajo or Paiute, and, uh, and their culture was in that school. It was rooted in that school, and their names and the, and the places they would visit and the places their parents were from, and everything of that is mentioned in these things. I just, I, that's part of the reason I love this book, or this whole series for that matter. Um, so anyway, it's about a series of murders that take place that involve the Sergeant Lephorn, or Sergeant Chi and Lieutenant Lephorn, and we want to know whether the, uh, you know, these, these murders are being uh, committed by someone who's an actual human or a skinwalker. And like most of the Tony Hillerman books, they are based off of those Navajo legends, Navajo mysticisms, the magic of the desert southwest. If you've ever been there in that environment, you know that magic lives within those red rock canyons and those sweeping plains of sagebrush and those big towering cliffs and those just cavernous canyons. You know that there's magic swirling through that environment. And the Indians knew it too. And they built a lot of legends around it. I mean, you cannot spend a day out there without feeling that magic. And that's why I always encourage people to read these, because Tony Hillerman does just such a great job of capturing that magic and flavor of the desert southwest in these books. And so, um, you know, this is a great book. The Skin Walkers. Ten out of ten. One of the best mystery novels ever written ever and if you look on npr or usa today's top 100 best mystery novels ever written you'll see this one it'll be there every single time 10 out of 10 great book